This is a BMW R1200GS. Uh, manufactured in um, April 2006 and I'm replacing the throttle cable as you can you see the little kink there uh, I imagine this is probably the original cable this is the problem when you twist the handlebars the revs go up not much at the moment but it's been worse Anyway, it's getting the shy. pillion seat and the uh, rider's seat is removed, as you probably already know if you've got this sort of bike. The ignition key in this little slot here. That way for the that way for the pillion and that way for the riders. Remove these little panels here. Remove this big cowling here by the undoing the quick release bolts and pulling it off the lugs elsewhere. Unscrew this side panel. Remove the filler cap for the tank cowling you need to take the bolt out here and on the other side here once you've got this centre panel off, you need to reinstall the tank filler cap temporarily. It's a tank bracket or tank tank retaining bolt. It's got a bracket on this side, doesn't have one on the other side. And there's your fuel line. Don't need any tools, it's quick release. Fuel pump wiring, light coloured yellows, dot colours blue and brown these are the pliers that I'm using to remove one type of air duct clip oh did you see that that's really clever isn't it bloody hell this this is the uh, the air duct and it has got a little right marked on here now I just did uh, 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 well what I thought I was doing was taking a little film saying you've got to show it who's boss right you, uh, you've got to show it who's boss you've got to really give it a good old tug right trouble is I wasn't recording at the time disconnect the idle as actuator the the next step was to cut the cables uh, cable ties securing the um, uh, wiring to the throttle body here and I've already done that I needed to get access to the uh, clips so I've already done that remove the injector screw remove the injector body whatever it's called oh noting the position of the o-rings remove the throttle position sensor there's only one of these on the left hand side ooh, ooh. Release Rodovic. No, release the throttle body to manifold yeah, clip. That one there. Oh, that's it. Was it? Oh, that's, that's just so clever the way. That now it I'm sure that this one's going to go smoother. Release the throttle body to manifold manifold clip. Did you, isn't that delightful the way that just pings off like that? Put a rag into the inlet manifold. Now, now I'm sure that that is going to uh, get caught up in all the valves, but I mean, that's what it says do in the manual, so I've done it. Now, just to clarify things, that, that was my attempt at a joke. I, I, you know, hope no one does that, leaves it in there. Hope I remember to take them out. Right, um, 
remove this plastic cover. Slide it out the way. Twist the throttle. Twist the throttle. Then hold that in position. And when you let go of the throttle, you've got you've got a bit of slack on the cable. So that can come out. Right. Okay. This little trap needs releasing. Little clip here needs removing. That's it, there you go, little, little clip. This lot can come out. But the at the the Fantastic. elastic. Again, got to remember to. Uh, you, can you remind me to, when I'm putting this back, can you remind me, please, to remember to thread the cable through there? Thank you. This this box here is the uh, where the splitter mechanism from the th single throttle to the two separate side cables go. It's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. There's a tab here that you lift up with a screwdriver and then it slides out like this. The next step, according to the manual, is to, not, not according to me, I'm not an expert, I've never done this before, need to remove this, this cover here, and there's a little screw under here, oh, so far so good. Now, that's the screw out there, and there's the cover, and yeah, that looks like that's going to be relatively, relatively straightforward to get the cable out. You have to uh, uh, slacken off the, the, the uh, adjuster mechanism under here, fully. Right, this looks relatively straightforward, I've slackened it off. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Undo this locking ring. And the cable In the book out. it says note the routing of the cable and the clips. So I'm doing that. There's one there. There's one here. It goes down like that. And then this comes out through here like that. Okay. And uh, that's it. That's just how it looks in the book. Well, I'm off for a bit of grub now. When I come back, I'll clean up all the parts and put them back together. I'm not sure what this is called. It's a cable splitter box. Don't need any tools for this by the look of it. Never taken one part before, but lift them up there, see if it comes apart, and it does. And uh, yeah, it's got a little rubber gasket round it, and it, it looks very, very clean in there. And 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 I don't think it's had any lubrication on it at all. So I'm not going to bother. I understand I'm not going to bother. This is a note to self with the lug on the unit here. The shorter of the two short cables, which is this one, comes out here, as does the main cable up to the twist grip. So that just leaves the longer of the two short ones out this side. Right, I'm just sort of uh, seeing how this goes as I go along. It's, uh, it's the main, the main throttle cable, or the the cable that goes up to the twist grip. 
That looks good. Okay, and I'm presuming this just lifts off. Yeah, yeah, let that just lifts off. And uh, now, is there uh, what are we saying? That lifts off, and it's just the one that's nearest. Yeah, with this one here orientated in that direction it just lifts off there yeah, yeah, yeah. likewise with this one and they come out like that oh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a clean up using this worth gear here and the reason I'm doing that is because I saw they were using it in the BMW garage right then now then after a, about taking the throttle body on and off the other side three or four times I think I finally got how it goes and then all the bits go in there now I know this ain't rocket science but I've kept made the cables come as straight as possible and I've avoided putting a twist in the cable so this might be a little bit painful to watch particularly if you're a professional let's, let's get this I'll just give it a twist of the old throttle to see. Yeah, that seems to be working quite smoothly. The uh, duct to go back on. Now, I'm presuming this is just brute force and ignorance to uh, get this to go on. One of those things that you think, how the hell am I going to get that on there? Anyway, I won't bore you with any more of this, so I'm going to turn it off and I'll let you know when it's on. Right, I've got the duct on all right. You have to punch it, or thump it rather. I hope, hopefully I'll demonstrate it on the other side. Now, just putting this fella on, one of these rings here. So, let's... Be positive. Oh, bloody hell, it only worked. That is, a, that is amazing. That, that's the sort of thing which you just think to yourself, that shouldn't work, and it does. How incredibly a bubble. My good God, that... That is just, I just cannot get over that. Right, now then. Got the other one on right, go giving it a punch. Don't know if it's gonna work on this side. What I did was on this side, I got it onto the throttle body first. Twisted it round. And it came off, no it didn't, it didn't come off. And I think that might be on. More magic clips. Oh. 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 Do you know, the person who invented that must wake up every morning and go, I invented that. Right, last magic clip. I'm gonna to have to take them all off and put them back on again. It says in the book the torque wrench setting is 19 newtons, but goes onto a rubber bracket, so I don't know 
I don't think I think that's probably getting too tight, so I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, so I've got the main components back, or all the components essential for combustion. <coughs> Uh, I haven't put things on like cable ties and the side panels. Just want to see if it starts and whether it runs. So we'll just uh, see what's happening. So far, so good. Okay. Ooh. Perhaps that's because the fuel hasn't come through. Ooh. Better leave it 10 seconds. Well, I've got it started after about half an hour. I'm taking the plugs out. This little bugger here wasn't fixed, pushed on properly. I think the tick over might be a bit high. And uh, I'll have to ride it to see how smooth it is. And of course, I need to get the old vacuum gauges on there. Yeah, so it didn't go too badly.